What's going on everybody? Another day metal detecting out here at the flea market. Yes, I am. Brought the legend out here again today. I uh, had another permission this morning. Uh, it's just something fell through. Wasn't able to go out there and do some digging. So I said, you know what? I'm not far from the flea market. I'm gonna go there and spend a couple hours. And uh, so let's do it. Let's see what we can find out here. And uh, got the legend. Um, I'm not gonna use my headphones. So that way y'all can hear the sounds. I'll do it for you guys. So I had a. I got something in here. It's, give me a high tone. There it is. I got a. Thirty-five. I had something. Give me a high tone right here. Anyway. Probably a pull tab. I'm gonna go ahead and dig this out. Um, a lot of targets out here. I told you that before. So uh, let's just see. Yep, it's a pull tab. Interesting one there. All right, I'm pretty sure this is another pull tab. I mean, I ain't gonna say that for sure, but it's wanting to stay over there on the non fair side. 29.30. So let's look at this one. All right, it is another pull tab. So I'm gonna try to steer away from getting every one of these. I talked to another buddy of mine who lives locally and he just bought a legend and he uh, went over a gold ring with it. And he said it rings up in the 10 to 12 to 15 range. So, I mean, yeah, I could potentially lose another ring, but I'm gonna try to steer away from digging 31s, 30, 31, 29s just to see what I can do today without digging those. All right, I got a loud 41, 42 non-ferrous. Oh, I see it right there. It hadn't even made it in the ground good yet. <clears throat> it's a penny, uh, 1999 penny. All right, I got a 46, 45 non-ferrous. It's showing two to three inches down. Probably another coin, I'd say penny. Surprisingly, it's a dime. 96 dime. All right, so I feel like I'm robbing y'all from Tuesday videos <laughs> of me actually testing the legend and stuff. So I'm gonna test this one, okay? I told you I wasn't gonna dig these. 35, 36, 37, it's showing a lot of Ferris. Um, let's see what it is. All right, so it's not a pull tab. Um, it's some sort of piece of brass here. I don't know. It almost looks like a... I don't know. It's got like a little incline right there on it, but it's got a place where you can put it into, into the wall or something. I don't know. That's it, though. So it's showing a little bit of ferrous. So I'm going to check this hole again, make sure there's nothing else in here. There's where the ferrous target came from. That is a end of a square nail. Sure is. All right, that's where it was showing the, the ferris at. So I had a non-ferris and a ferris, and it was showing both sides, but it was staying, and it was staying in that, that uh, 38 range, which that ferris, being ferris, it brought that VDI down. So that's, that's interesting there. Okay, good deal. Now we know. Just to let y'all know, there was four pieces of nail iron in that hole. I got a 40 right here. Got a 40 right here. But yeah, there's four pieces of iron nail in that hole. With that uh, brass piece. I see something right there. Let's see what this is. 40 was a aluminum bottle cap. Straight up aluminum. Old one. Coca-Cola. All right, I got a 42, 43. Showing all non-ferrous. I'm going to go with a penny. 
As I was right. It's a penny, zinc penny. 97, looks like 91. This is the 24, all non-fares. Makes me wonder if it's a nickel. Just about, maybe an inch down, maybe two. It's not deep at all. Might be a nickel. I was right. It's a nickel. Good old Jefferson. How about that? So I am learning this thing. That nickel was uh, four inches down. Deeper than I was. Honestly, I didn't even look at the thing. I was just listening. Assuming it was a lot closer than it was. There's a 27. Fool me. Pull tab. Well, 27 is close to that 29. So yeah, pull tab. Shows a 20 on the machine. It's aluminum foil. But that was a 2021. That's kind of where I've been seeing them. Makes sense. Those gold rings. Again, gold rings. You know, 1920, whatever, 15. Aluminum foil. I've seen it down in 17 as well. So that's it. They're gonna have to dig up a little full to find gold rings. I didn't let y'all listen to the tone, but it was a solid 25 with that tone that goes with it. And it was a nickel. I mean, this thing's really hitting on nickels. And it was, I'd say five inches, five inches down, nickel. I dug this because it was giving me a 17, which I'll let you listen to it, listen. And it was a solid 17, but, I mean, it's iron. Um, but it's got some sort of a little, it's actually an earring. That's an earring, but it's just iron, rusty old earring now. Got something interesting here. It's a 22, non-ferrous. Saying about two inches down, maybe three. I've never seen a 22 on this machine yet. Might be tin foil. It's in the plug. Whatever it is. Could be junk, but. No, there's something here. Aw, oh, are you kidding me? It's a tarp grommet. It's one of them small ones. Real small tarp grommets. Good night. <laughs> them things love me out here. Alright, guys. Right here next to this table. I think I might have just got my first quarter. Listen. 53. That's a quarter. I had to fight for that thing though. There's a couple nails in there and that pinpointer can't discriminate, which is fine. Anyway, 1966, good night. All right then. All right, this right here is some sort of little decorative piece that broke off of something. Where it was on, it's probably pretty. But it looked like it broke off of something though. Um, I got another signal in here about to find out what the machine's telling me though tell me tell me what it is or not is it fair or non fair let's find out oh it's just a nail yeah i'm not going any deeper now all right y'all i got my first piece it looks like jewelry or it might just be a i think it's a um it's either a jewelry piece of jewelry or it's a piece of a fishing tackle one of those little one of those little things that little shiny spinny things off a of spinner bait i'm not a fisherman i'm a dirt fisherman that's it all right then that's what i got bring up like a nickel i thought it was a nickel all right i think this is the oldest penny today i had a 66 quarter i got a 68 d penny 
55, 54. I think it's a quarter. At least I hope it is. Well, I find a quarter. Ooh, that's even better. That's a watch. Take a look at that. That's a watch. You see that watch in there? Look at that. That is cool, man. That is neat. I bet the pack's already gone. You can't see what brand it is. Yep. That's pretty cool. I see something written there. Just found a watch. That's not alright now. Bulova. Bulova watch. My day was getting a little bit of drive of anything. I wasn't expecting a watch when I opened this hole. But it was a 55. Solid. Good deal. Take some pictures of that one. Back on the dimes again. That one was a uh, uh, 47. No, 45. Alright y'all, so uh, my battery's about dead. And um, it's already cut off once. I cut it back on, took it out of multi-frequency. Put it on uh, 15. Just see if I can find a few more, you know, a few more of these. Oh, there it goes again. She's dead, guys. Well, I'm uh, going to have to finish this video, finish this trip. And it's about 12.30. I was going to finish about 1.30, but it's okay. I'll finish a little early. But anyway, um, we'll, uh, we'll convene on another time and do some more digging. But uh, I'm going to show you all the good stuff, and that's not good. Well, my day is done. Um, again, my detector. So my battery's dead on it, and so I'm pretty much done for the day. Uh, but I didn't leave here empty-handed. I got quite a bit here. And, uh, man, I'm telling you that, I'm going to say that probably the watch is my best find. I mean, everybody finds coins. So pulling that watch out was really neat. So um, but I got a couple of interesting things that I didn't show on video. I got a couple of things to show you as well. A little interesting things. <laughs> but um, anyway, let's look at it now. All right, so I'm going to start with all the trash and everything. All right, so I come out pretty good today. I only bit, dug three of these. I usually dig about 10 of them. <laughs> but I did find a lot of these. But these are the older ones. All of these are the older ones. If anybody asked, I, I meant to put this at the beginning, but I ran my detector in park mode, multi-1, and sensitivity was a little bit lower. I think it was like 25 or so. But found these right here as well. And then uh, these are just laying on the top on the surface of the ground. I just picked them up. And then these right here were pretty interesting also. I found these two pennies. I didn't count them in my my coin uh, my coin pile just because they're just those old zinc pennies. They're messing up. Uh, this little brass piece, found that early on. There's that little thing there, a little decorative piece there as well. And what I think is a part of a um, fishing lure right there. And it says uh, Japan on it right there, I believe. Japan, yep jump in and then uh there's my trash right there and then i'll show you the good stuff i told you i was going to show you a couple interesting things um so there's all my coins one quarter two nickels three dimes a bunch of pennies and then here's my watch right here and it's actually made by a company called bolova let me turn it over and let you see it get some light on it right there bolova watch company um, I have no idea how the worth of this thing is. You know how it is, you can get online, you can see the most expensive, they always show you the most expensive watches as soon as you type it into Google or whatever, because um, that's what the, that's the ones the company wants you to buy. And then I also found this right here, this was in a hole with something else. That's a checkerboard piece. That's pretty cool. And then there's my half, my half penny. So I did find a half penny today. <laughs> but anyway, alrighty, well, that's all I found today that was good and there's all of it together we're only about a week and a half away from arizona and uh, man i'm really really excited about that um again i know it's probably too late to sign up we have another event coming up in october of this year and that's at the loud mine in georgia and we did the very similar event last year if you haven't watched i tell you what if you want to see kind of the, you know the camp and kind of what we did at that event last year 
once you click right there and i'll put it right there for you to watch if you want to hope you enjoyed the video hope you have a good day god bless we'll see you next time and always remember to treat other people how you want to be treated see you